Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online and also how to become a work from home freelancer. I've also been doing a lot of videos recently about how to become a YouTuber and make money online as a YouTuber. So in one of my most recent polls, I asked you if you have a YouTube channel and if you're interested in learning how to gain more views and more subscribers. And I wanted some of my subscribers to share their channels with us so we can go through them together and give some tips on what I would do differently to get more viewers, to get more subscribers. So you can see that I had over 138 comments and almost 2000 votes in this poll. Now, obviously I can't review all the channels in one video, there are too many. So today I'm going to focus on three different channels. I'm going to show you three of my subscribers channels and we're going to talk about some tips on improving these channels together. I will be doing an ongoing series of this. So if you have put your channel in the description below, that has probably been added to my Excel spreadsheet. However, I'm not going to review channels that only have 10 videos or 15 videos or that have just begun. If you only have a few videos on your channel, you haven't done enough work to be able to see the results, see what's working, what's not working. A lot of people have two videos and they wanted me to review their channel. So my advice to those people is to keep working, keep publishing more videos and use the tips in this video. And maybe in future, when you have more videos, I'll be able to feature your channel. So in today's video, we're going to go through around 10 different tips of things you can do differently to improve your channels. So let's start with this first one. So we have this channel, Paints and Brushes. So this woman here looks like a really talented artist. I like that she has Paints and Brushes as her name. That makes it very clear that this is an art channel. But one thing I would do differently is up here, she just has this artsy, background image, which is nice, but she should add some information here because if anyone likes one of her videos and they want to click on her channel before subscribing, they want to know what they're going to subscribe to. And right now it doesn't really look like an official channel because there's no information here. If we look at my channel, for example, when someone clicks on my name, they see Jennifer Marie Vio, learn how to make money online and work from home, little subscribe button. Uh, this looks different depending on if you're on your mobile phone or on your computer. But in any case, on the phone, you'd see Jennifer Marie Vio, learn how to make money online. Now I have a video that I've linked you to in the description below on how to create channel art, but it's very simple. You can use Canva, which is completely for free. We're going to go back to this channel in a second, but I also wanted to show you another uh, channel from a subscriber of mine, Luciana, I hope I'm saying that right, who's also a beautiful woman, talks about travel, making money online, but her cover photo is of this adorable baby. So if I liked one of her videos or watched one of her videos and clicked on her, I probably wouldn't subscribe because it looks like a personal YouTube channel. You know, this is a baby on it. So if someone wants to subscribe to you, and they watched one of your videos, they want to make sure that your other videos are somewhat related to that. So what I would do is change this completely. So I've gone ahead and done a sample of what I would do. You can go to Canva and Canva is completely free to sign up. You do not need Canva Pro. You'll type in YouTube banner and this will give you all sorts of YouTube channel art templates that you can use. So I found one of these templates and I went ahead and filled in Luciana's information. I took a screenshot to get this picture of her and dropped it in here. We've got passive income, travel, fashion, subscribe. And when you put things like this, it lets people know what your channel's about. Because right now, it just looks like it's a baby. I would guess that this was about how to raise a baby, but there aren't any videos on how to raise a baby. So you really need to change this and make it obvious about what your channel is about, okay? Okay, the next tip I have for both of these channels is you need to add more to your homepage because again, even if you have this custom banner here, when people are scrolling down, with this one, all we can see is the shorts. Um, the videos, we'd have to click on videos to see all of her videos and here's where she has so many of her amazing art tutorials and we don't want people to miss out on these. You especially want to put your most popular videos on your channel. And if you don't know how to set up different playlists, I can do a tutorial teaching you guys how to do that. But as an example, if we go back to my channel, you can see if someone clicks on my YouTube channel, Jennifer Marie Vio, we've got transcription jobs for beginners. So we have this full playlist here, improve your transcription skills. We've got this playlist, Upwork playlist, 
um, my YouTube creator playlist. So people are like, okay, you know, this woman has a playlist on this I can check out on this. And they might think, you know what, I like some of these topics that she talks about. I'm going to subscribe to her. So there's a big missed opportunity here on this channel because she does have some really great videos on drawing tutorials and you know, you want to highlight those tutorials. So make different playlists. Also with Luciana, Luciana has her shorts and also her uploads, but you can see a lot of these are related to uh, visas and to immigration. And so you want to make different playlists on each of these. So the next tip I have for you guys is having some sort of consistent thumbnails. Um, what that basically means is, for example, if we click on videos, you can see here that Luciana is using red, yellow, and black, and that's great. She has three colors that she uses in her brand. So probably in her channel art, she might want to use those colors as well. I also like that Luciana is using the same font. It's good to have some sort of consistency. So if we go, we go to paints and brushes, you can see that she also has these ones she has consistency with what these thumbnails look like. So these would look great in a playlist, as I said before. Now let's go on to our third YouTube channel, Drama Llama. So this guy, if we click on about, we can see he has 101,000 views. So a lot of people have seen his videos. But if we click on videos, the thumbnails are kind of all over the place. You know, I know it's a gaming channel, so it's a little bit different, but it's nice when someone can know that this is your channel. So I see he has this little Drama Llama logo. I would almost like to see this logo incorporated in the corner of each of these thumbnails just to give some consistency and some branding. Because right now, if I saw this pop up, I would have no idea that these belonged to Drama Llama. So you wanna have some consistency. So if we go to my other channel, I have another channel called Sparkle English, and you look here, I have different sort of thumbnails depending on the type of content I'm producing. Not everyone does this, but I like to. So you can see here for all of my English writing essentials, I just use black with this classic font. And, and then with my grammar essentials videos, I use a bit of black, but a lot of like this sort of turquoise color. So. And then here with my homophones lessons, I also kind of do the same thing. So I try to have some sort of consistency, especially with a certain type of video that I'm doing. Okay, another thing I had is I had two different subscribers comment with their channel. And when I looked at their channel, I always was looking at how many subscribers you have and how many total views your channel has. Now I'm not going to share the names of these two channels because I don't want to embarrass anyone. However, this is something that you should never ever do. And if I were these channels, I would start over. This person here has over a thousand subscribers. So I thought, oh, that's great. They must have videos with a lot of views. But then I looked and saw they only have 741 views. And you can do that by clicking on the channel, then click about, and you see how many views. So that means that this person has purchased subscribers. So if this channel has 741 views, there is no way they can have over a thousand subscribers because not even that many people have watched their videos. And that would mean every single person who watched their video clicked subscribe. And there's not even that many views. So they pay for subscribers, maybe on Fiverr, um, probably they're robots. And it's against YouTube's terms and services. This is not gonna help you grow your channel. It's just going to hurt you. So do not do this. Uh, I know it's frustrating when you're trying to gain subscribers, but this is not helpful because you're not fooling YouTube. You're not fooling anybody. All right. So don't pay for subscribers. Okay. My next tip for you guys, and this is for all of the channels is what you need to be doing is focusing on creating similar content to your most popular video. So how can you find out your most popular video? Well, click on videos then click on popular. And you can see here that the most popular video for paints and brushes was her video on easy spiral border design. So if I were her, I would be doing more and more videos like this one because this was you know, seen by quite a few people. And also if we click on shorts, we can click on popular and this one here has over 6,000 views. And this is a really cool, satisfying video about her drawing this mandala. And 
she only has one of these videos, but this one has over 6,000 views. So you're missing an opportunity to be gaining more views with this type of artwork. And my next tip for you is once you start creating more and more content that's related to this, is what you can do is either on your shorts or in your videos, you'll click on it. And what you can do is right here in the comment section, you can write a comment um, linking people to another video of yours that is similar or encouraging people to subscribe to you. Um, and you could do and you can also put in the description of this video links to your other videos. Now this works better, not so much with shorts, but with videos in my experience, because shorts will kind of just go to the next video, but people often while they're watching a video will read the description. So if we go back to her videos and we look on the spiral border design one, what we'll do is you'll click on that one. So what you can do here is you can see that this video has over 102 comments. So people are commenting and there's a missed opportunity here because she can make a pinned comment. So if you make a nice comment here and then you pin it, it's the first comment that will pop up and people will see it. So you can say, hey guys, wanna watch more videos like this and link them to your other spiral videos or related videos. And this is giving people an opportunity because this, there's a lot of people who are commenting on this video. So my next tip for you guys is to really make it obvious what your channel is about and try to concentrate on a niche. So for example, I had a friend of mine say, Jen, you should do prank videos on your YouTube channel those videos get lots of views. And I said, why would I do prank videos? That has nothing to do with my niche. My niche is technology, making money online, freelancing. It has nothing to do with pranks. You want to really focus on your niche and then the more subscribers you get, you can slowly start to branch out a little bit. That's what I have done in my case. So if we look at Luciana, she has videos about all sorts of different things. Visa, passive income. But let's look at her most popular video. She has over 7,000 views on the reasons why her visa was denied. So if I were Luciana, I would be creating more videos related to this one, more information, talk more about your experience. And then in the description, put links to other videos and a pinned comment. Here, her next video had over 4,000 views, most paying about the best paying jobs in Turkey. Again, I would talk more about that. But now if we look on Luciana's shorts and we click on her most popular, she has a shorts with over 53,000 views and this one over 30,000 views, this one 15,000, 12,000. So all of these have so many views and she could almost make this a travel channel instead of a making money online channel because so many people have liked these videos or watched these videos. So if I were Luciana, I might even focus on visas and traveling abroad while working abroad because so many people are responding to her travel videos. But right now, Luciana's videos are sort of all over the place because you have some about travel and others about fashion. So I think it's important to sort of stick to one or two niches rather than trying to make videos about everything. Okay, so let's go back to Drama Llama. So when you click on Drama Llama's channel, you see subscribe at the top. If I were you, I would make it more obvious this is a gaming channel. Again, put Drama Llama up here. Put something about Roblox because a lot of your videos are about Roblox. And just make it a bit more obvious that your channel is a gaming channel and there's new content every week. Another thing is when you click on this channel, this is the intro video, but there's not much said about this video. Right here, I don't know what this says, unfortunately, but it doesn't fill up much information, so people aren't really getting the picture of what your channel is about. This is the intro video he selected for his channel, but he has to put some more information. For example, if we look at my Sparkle English channel, I have an intro video here, and then I have my title, Welcome to Sparkle English, and then I say thanks for coming. This is a channel where I help you improve your level of English. So Drama Llama should be saying, Welcome to Drama Llama, my gaming channel, and here I do, you know, I play video games, I teach you tips and tricks, and just make it obvious what your channel is about because people are unlikely to subscribe to you if they don't know what kind of content you're producing. I think that Drama Llama should also categorize his videos because right now he just has one playlist, you know, he's got one that's funniest TikTok videos uh, and uh, these other Roblox ones. So what I would do is make a playlist, especially of your popular videos, because he has a lot of popular videos. Like this one, 
this one, look at all of these have many, many views. Another thing I would do is make use of the community tab. So he's only put new video coming out at 8 p.m. and he put this five months ago, but there's nothing else. In the community tab, I find that people really respond to. Sometimes when I just post, um, I have a new video and I share the video in the community tab, no one says anything. Or if I share a picture, no one says anything. But if I ask a poll, a text poll, and especially an image poll, I get so many more results. I'll show you. For example, I did this little image poll and I have over almost 2,000 votes. Here was another image poll I did. Again, 1.7K votes. And then I did a text poll, 581 votes. So people really like the image ones. And the image, you just have to upload a square image. But then you can see here, I shared a link to my video. It only had 15 likes. But then if I'm doing a poll, look, this one had over 3,000 votes. I had people who found this poll and they're not even one of my subscribers. They just, it popped up for whatever reason. So I would definitely recommend that Drama Llama you ask the community things about Roblox and post a little poll. And to do that, you click here, you click on image poll, and you can upload an image, a little square image, and then you can put option one, option two, add option, up to four options. So, um, you know, do you have this item in Roblox or do you like this item or whatever? And then you can put some funny images that people like to click and it just increases engagement. People love to click on an image and love to vote. So definitely recommend you take advantage of the community tab. So yeah, basically change your channel art, make it more obvious what your channel's about, add some information and a description here, organize your videos into playlists, make more videos, that are related to your top video and even recreate this video because this was four years ago and this was four years ago. So all of these videos that have been recreated four years ago that were your most popular videos on your channel, recreate these videos now because these are ones that people probably subscribe to you for and they were successful on your channel. So do them again. So I have linked you guys in the description below to all of these channels. I want to say thank you to these subscribers for agreeing to share their channels with us. If you guys want to check them out, feel free to go to the description below and click on them and subscribe if you are interested in their content or to see how they are progressing with their videos um, week after week as they try to implement some of these tips. So I will continue doing more videos like this one talking about different things that you guys can do in your channels to improve them. So I really encourage you guys just to keep uploading. The more videos you upload and you wait about six months or so, you'll see what videos have more views than other videos. And it's all about trial and error. You have to try something. You can't post five videos and wonder why you only have 10 views. Well, of course you do, you're a new channel, but it's not impossible. Just keep posting videos, optimize your channel, make sure to have channel art, use keyword rich titles, fill out your descriptions and just continue posting more and more videos. And eventually one video is going to have more views than another and you're going to start getting information about what kind of content people like and what kind of content of yours is most popular. So thank you guys so much for watching. You can click on the links in the description below to get more tutorials related to becoming a YouTuber and I will see you guys in my next video.